What is a math trade? Let's run a mock trade with these games right here and we'll show you how it works. Step one, add some games to the trade. Trader number one is Katie and Katie has problem picnic. Number two is Nancy. Nancy's got this brand new copy of Under Falling Sky. Next up is Fred. Fred's got this cool block Ness. Can't forget about Nancy. Nancy's got control. And finally, there's Steve. Steve has this copy of Scrabble Slam that doesn't have a box, a rule book, and is wrapped in a rubber band. Now that we've entered our games in the trade, let's make our want list, which is step number two. Remember Steve and his garbage copy of Scrabble Slam? He's willing to accept any of the other four games. Fred would be willing to trade Block Ness for either Control or Under Falling Skies. Nancy's got Control, but would only be willing to accept Under Falling Skies, Under Falling Skies. Taylor's got Under Falling Skies, and would be willing to accept either Control or Loch Ness. Katie's got Problem Picnic and would be willing to trade it for any of these. Step three of a math trade is when we take those want lists and we put them into a computer and a math program figures out the maximum number of trades possible. Let's see the results. Okay, trade magic has happened. Fred is giving Loch Ness to Katie and receives Control from Nancy. Nancy gives Control to Fred and receives Under Falling Skies from Taylor. Taylor gives Under Falling Skies to Nancy and receives Problem Picnic from Katie. Katie gives Problem Picnic to Taylor and gets Block Ness from Fred. Steve neither gives or receives anything because no one wanted Scrabble Slam. So you can see from our mock trade that no one was forced to receive any games that they did not specifically ask for in their want list. And it just happened that there were no direct one-to-one -one trades. And also, poor Steve, you gotta put in good stuff to get good stuff. Now imagine how this might play out with dozens of participants and hundreds of board games, lots of potential trades, lots of people giving away the things they're no longer playing and getting things they're excited to play. Math trading is fun. Watch out for more videos uh, as we run through the different steps specifically on how a math trade operates. See you then.